Creating a report in SQL Plus. Here we are going to see about the creation of a report and inbuilt options in SQL Plus. Now we're going to discuss how to create a report in SQL Plus. In SQL Plus, we can use many reporting options to make our result easy to understand. We can also set up report headers and footers. This will improve the clarity of the report. Now before creating reports, we will see how to clear the screen. Let's type this statement in the SQL prompt. Clear screen. This statement clears the screen. Now we can write our reports after clearing the screen. In SQL Plus, some environmental variables are available to change the environment. We can use the set command to change the system variables. The syntax of the set command is set environment variable value. In this syntax, set is a key word. Let's look in detail at many variables starting with page size. See this syntax. Set page size n. In this syntax, n is the number of lines printed per page. The default setting is 14, but this can be enlarged up to 54 lines for a printed page, or kept small and multiple pages can be printed on a single sheet. The next one is line size. See this syntax. Set line size n. Here n is the number of characters per line. 80 characters is the common setting for a printed page. But we can change this up to 120. The next one is echo. The syntax is set echo on off. It lists the commands as executed whenever the file is started. The default is off. The next variable is feedback. Look at this syntax. Set feedback on off. It prints the number of rows returned from a query. It can be set off, but the default is on. Let's see the syntax to set a null value variable. Set null value. By default, null value displays an empty space, but we can add some text strings instead of printing empty spaces. Here is the syntax to set a pause between pages. We can control the scrolling of the screen. The default is off. We can set this to on. Now it displays one page, and we must hit return to retrieve the next page. We can also specify the text that displays at the pause like this. Set pause, hit return to continue. Set pause on. Here we have set the phrase for the pause. It must be written before we set the pause on statement. Now let's see the syntax for wrapping a text. Set wrap on off. This controls the word wrap. By setting this to off, it will not display the long values. We can change it to on. This allows the long values to write in the next line. Here we have discussed some important system variables and their uses. There are many more variables available. We can see the remaining types by typing help set in the SQL prompt. We can also use these variables in the process of creating a report. Let's see the remaining types in the next section. Let's see how to format the columns. In SQL Plus, a column command is used for formatting the columns. We can use this command to change the column headings in the result. Generally, SQL Plus uses the column name as the default column heading. We can change the column heading with this syntax. Column, column name, heading, column heading. Now we will see how to change the column heading. Column name, heading, employee name. Column city, heading, location. These two statements change the column headings. We can check the changes on the column heading by typing select 
asterisk from details and executing the statement. This statement shows the employee name as a heading for the name column and location as a heading for the city column. We can also underline the headings with some characters. For this we have to set the underline character. This statement sets the double underscore as underline for the headings. We can see this by typing select asterisk from details. In the result, it underlines all the headings. Now we will see how to format the number column. We can also change the default number display using the column command. Here I will show the method of changing the default display. We can change the format of the number display using this general format column, column name, format, model. This format model is used to add commas, dollar signs, angle brackets, or leading zeros to the numbers in a column. Now I will show you how to display the salary with a dollar sign and a comma. For this we have set the format like this. This statement sets the specifics for the salary column. We can check this by executing the statement. This statement displays the values in the salary column as we formatted them. Let's see how to format the data types in SQL+. The following data types are used in SQL+. We can use format model with the column command to change the default display of data types. Here I will show you the syntax to do this. Column, column name, format, model. In this syntax column is a key word. Column name specifies the name of the column to be formatted. Format is a key word to specify that we are going to format the column.